let's look at the volume of a sphere and a hemisphere. Now this is a sphere, a sphere which has got a circular surface and uh, suppose the best example of a sphere is a, a, a soccer ball is, has an example of, or suppose if you take a ball bearing that is a sphere. sphere. So now this is a sphere and the radius is from the center, this is the center of the sphere which is inside the sphere and this is the radius. Okay, so now the volume, uh, the formula for the volume of a sphere, the volume of a sphere, this formula would be given, you don't need to remember the formulas. The volume of a sphere is uh, a bit strange, it is 4 pi r cube divided by 3. 4 pi r cube divided by 3. Okay, so let me make up, suppose here yeah, it's given, say the diameter, I'll write diameter. So the diameter would be the distance from year to year. So this distance, if you extend this to this end, this is from year to year, I hope you know is the diameter. So this is radius and the whole thing from year to year is diameter. So the diameter is say 20 centimeters and you want to find the volume. So if the diameter is given, the first thing that you do is you have to find the radius which is half the diameter which is 10 centimeter. So volume, you have to just apply the formula which is 4 times pi, 4 times pi, 4 times pi, times your radius is 10, so it is 10 cube divided by 3. Now directly use my calculator to get the answer. So menu, menu run, so you can type in 4 times shift pi times 10 cube. So you use this caret key, so this is the arrow okay or the top of an arrow so you press this key so this is 10 raised to 3 so this is 10 cube divided by 3 and that will give you the answer and press equal so it's 4188.79 centimeter cube so it's 4188.79 centimeter cube just like that Okay, so let's move on to this question. Now this is a soccer ball, so let us, uh, how much would you reckon is the radius from the center, from the inner center to the outside. Suppose this is the inner center, this is inside. So this distance, uh, let us make a guess, how much would this distance be? So this is your radius. So your radius is say, uh, say 12 centimeters. Your radius is? 12 centimeters. So your volume is 4 times pi times radius cube which is 12 cube divided by 3. So let's use a calculator. So it's 4 times shift pi times 12. This is, you may have seen this key. This is, this is called a caret. 12 cube divided by 3. Okay, and press equal, that's your answer. It's 7238.23. 7238. So your volume is 7238.23 in 2 dp. 0.23 centimeter cube. Always write the unit. If you don't write the unit, the whole thing is wrong. It doesn't make any sense without unit. So this is your answer. Okay, now let's move on to hemisphere. Now, if the volume of a sphere is 4 pi r cubed divided by 3, use your common sense and tell me what would be the volume of a hemisphere. Volume of hemisphere. Hemisphere is half the sphere. So, you know the formula of volume of a sphere is 4 pi r cube divided by 3. So this would be 2 pi r cube, 2 pi r cube divided by 3. 
half of 4 pi r cube is 2 pi r cube. So let's say the radius in this case, uh, tell me a number. So I think of a number. So you can put up put any number. So let's say this is 8 millimeter. 8 millimeter. This distance is 8 millimeter. Hemisphere is half the sphere. So applying the same formula, so volume, V for volume is 2 times pi times radius, which is 8 cube divided by 3. Okay, so let me cancel this. So this is 2 times shift pi times 8 cube. You can also do 8 times 8 times 8 if you want to divide by 3. Okay, or you can also do, let me show you in a different way. If you don't if you don't want to do cube, 8 times pi times 8 cube means 8 times 8 times 8 divided by 3. We'll give you the same answer. It's 1072.33. 10, what was the number? 1072.33. 1,700 and 1,072.33. What will be the unit here? This is millimeter, so it'll be millimeter cube. Okay, let me finish off with the last example. This is an image of two hemispheres. So this is the top sphere and this is the bottom sphere. So think of a number which is the radius. So the radius is from the center to one end. So the radius here, let's say it is how much? Uh, say 14 meters. This is a huge sphere. So this is a, a huge hemisphere of 14 meters. Okay, so your volume is 2 times pi times 14 cube divided by 3. So cancel. So you can go 2 times shift pi times 14 cube divided by 3, which is 5,747.02. 747.02. What will be the unit here? This is meter, so it is meter cube. Yeah, can you understand? This is 14 meters times 14 meters times 14 meter. When you're doing 14 cube, what are you doing? You're doing 14 meter times 14 meters times 14 meters. And that's why meter times meter times meter gives you meter cube.